welcome to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. It's a pleasure to have you. And if you have seen any of my other videos, welcome back. Now, I would love for you to subscribe after seeing this video. I've put a lot of effort in and I hope you enjoy it. Now, here's the contents of this video. It's initially starting with the unboxing, but I'm going to be putting some a little bit of history to give some context behind the design of this watch and the watch that it um, was inspired by, uh, which is a Seiko, of course. So I will also discuss where I got the watch, the specifications, stats, etc., etc., loom and outdoor shots. I'll also discuss some strap options because of the design of this watch. It's actually quite easy to change the look of it by changing some straps out. I'll show you some options I've put on here. Then we'll finish with conclusion. So before I open the box and show you the watch, I'm going to briefly discuss with you a fantastic film, Apocalypse Now. It is a bit grim, I must say. Uh, it's not family friendly, but that film inspired the re-release in 2019 of the watch that Captain Willard from the film, played by Martin Sheen, he was wearing this model. And here's some details on the screen. You can see it's uh, the re-release was a lot of money. It was over $4,000 and they sold out quick because of the limited numbers. And they sold so well, I think Seiko were like, mm, let's, let's release some more, uh, but not make them limited and still make them expensive, but not quite $4,000 expensive. And they won't have quite the fancy movement and things like that that the limited edition had. And you see it has the waffle strap. We'll go more into detail with that, but here's the two models. One's 1,000 and one's 1,200 pounds. Two different colorways, rubber or steel strap. So there's a lot of money. So this one is going to represent incredible value because I paid just over 100 pounds for it. And I'll show you in a little bit where I got this from. So this plastic hard case is exactly the same case as you get Sam Martin's in. So I can imagine the fact that they Sam Martin watches are made in the same factory. I imagine they've got a pile of these boxes knocking around. They just take from the pile and they stick their own sticker on it. So I was very interested to see how... How does this watch, which is made apparently in the exact same factory as San Martin, which on average are 50 to 100 pounds more for the equivalent watch, is the quality different? Do they charge more San Martin because of the quality control? Let's take a look. There's been a lot of interest. A lot of my viewers have been interested in knowing this. So I thought, let's answer your questions and my own. I'm really intrigued. Let's take a look. So... First impressions from taking out of its little plastic bag, which I definitely were going to reuse for something else one day, and reuse of the knife again, excellent, and then take the tag off, which is always a pain in the butt, but I do like their logo. It's a bit fussy, but I, I think at least it's relevant to the fact that this is a steel watch, and it's for diving, 200 meter watch. Rubber strap feels quite nice. I've seen better, but it's actually pretty decent. It's very soft, very supple. Now I'm thinking, oh, here we go, plastic again. How are we going to get this off? It was easy on this because if you get a metal bracelet watch, they really go to town and wrapping them up, the bracelet and everything, and it's all very difficult. It's a hell of a mess. But this was, as you can see, nice and easy. First pop is that gorgeous blue-tinted AR coating. Now, I don't, it's not a deal-breaker. I think it's a little bit strong a colour, to be honest. I think they, should, they could have just put clear on there, but I think Steel Dive liked to put strong AR coating on. Now, a kind viewer said from a previous video where I was bending my nails, trying to get that blue sticker off, just a bit of sellotape. I thought I was clever, but just shows that you can miss the easiest trick and people will kindly help you out. So now we've got that blue sticker off, you can see the lovely sun crown. Very nice, got the logo on there. And I thought, well, let's see the back. They've done a good job there as well. Lovely finish on there. You've got a real mixture of details on there. They've done a lovely job getting that logo on the back. They could have not bothered. I've seen Sam, I've got two Sam Martins and neither of them have got anything going on on the back. This is beautiful. It really is. And the finishing's good. You've got the contrast between the brushing, which is all lovely and uniform. And you've got a mixture of the polishing in there as well with the screw down case back. And then the transition from the polished sides to the brush top and bottom is really smooth. There's no over polish or over brushing anywhere that I could find. Everything fit and finish wise is exceptionally good. I'm really, really impressed. Really good start. And I thought, okay, let's get straight in with the tactile things. Bezel, I couldn't resist. The bezel is good. It's not the best, but it is good. 
for this money, it is very good because I'd like to remind you of, check out my other video, the Pagani Design Submariner. I'm starting to sort of not like that watch, unfortunately, give you an idea because the bezel on that feels very cheap. Whereas this, it feels very stiff, but it's, it's not too stiff. But because it's stiff, that actually makes it feel more precisely engineered than if it was really loose. So I think it's better to have a very stiff initial bezel because that will loosen over time. My San Martin um, Great Wave Off Kanagawa dial watch, that check that video out as well. I love that watch. It's incredible. And the, the bezel feel on that is really good as well. Now here's where I got the watch. Here's just a brief idea of the business. They're, they're a UK seller and I went on to eBay to find them because I was stunned at the price. I thought, I've got to get this. So I just typed in eBay, Steel Dive SD 1970. That's this watch. That's this watch's model. This is the seller. That's the exact watch I bought. That's what I paid for it. See, same strap and everything. £105 pretty much. Delivered. So, the stats. 117 grams, really light on the wrist. Only 43mm case size. Medium to large size, but because you're going to see in a minute how short the lug to lug is, it fits really well on the wrist. 13mm thick, it's not too thick. Lugs are 20mm. Now the glass diameter is about 30mm, which is it's a decent size. As you can see there, the lug to lug's about 46, 47. The good thing about shorter lug length, the measurement you got there, is if it's a bit shorter, even though it's a wide watch, it sits really well because it's well balanced on the wrist. Because some watches are really long, lug to lug, and that can make them sort of look a bit awkward on the wrist. But this it's got a lovely case shape design, and it really fits comfortably on the wrist. As soon as I put this on, I was very impressed with the, the comfort. Beautiful sapphire glass, sits perfectly in the case, catches the light really well. Here I'm just examining all the, the edges, they're so smooth, they're really well done, I'm really so impressed. I mean, my initial impressions, I was blown away, the fact, I just can't remember, this was just over £100, this is £25 more than the Bugatti design, which as huge a following as they have, they have quality control issues, they do, but this, this doesn't. I'm struggling. I really want your help, guys. If you can spot anything that I've missed, because obviously I'm starstruck by this beauty, is there anything I'm missing that is... Bear in mind, this is a £105 watch. This is a, a lot less than a crappy dress watch from a fashion brand, you know, where they put a huge markup. This is a high-spec, beautiful watch. Ceramic bezel. Solid stainless steel. Polishing. Everything. It's beautiful. And the loom, you've got BGW9 on the bezel, which is blue. It doesn't quite show on this, my camera doesn't pick out the blue so well. But then you've got green loom on the indices and the hands. Beautiful, really stands out, it's strong. If you come out from being in the sunshine and then walk into somewhere slightly shady, your watch is popping, and that really draws your eye. And then when you're out in the sunshine, you've got the pop from the gorgeous AR coating and all the well-polished aspects. It's gorgeous. It really does catch the light so well. I'm so happy with the way this watch looks in, in the light and in the dark. Now, seeing as it has a black dial and a black bezel, that gives it excellent opportunity for loads of strap choices because it's what I would deem a strap monster. Anyone who knows about straps knows that you've got a neutral watch colour Look at these choices. I'm see what it looks like on these. These three I got from Watch Gecko. I love these guys. I have no affiliation. I'm just a big fan. I've got these are all my. I bought all these. That's from my Satina. Which check out that video as well. I've done a review for that. It's been very popular. That is to see what it's like on a vintage strap. And then this is my other San Martin watch. I love this waffle strap. I thought, hmm, I'm gonna have to take that off because that is more in keeping with the original 
Captain Woolard. So, first of all, take the other strap off. Put, I've got these spring bars, 20 mil. I recommend you get some. I don't know where to recommend. I, I got these with my Satina, but I'm sure you can find them somewhere. Look for spring bars that are a quick release. So, the first one I wanted to try was on the Vintage Bond NATO. The good thing about Watch Gecko NATOs is they're about 300 mil long. And them being a bit longer is you're always guaranteed to have a little bit of surplus length when you have it around your wrist, regardless of your wrist size. Obviously a lot more if you have a tiny wrist. But what that means is when you've got it on your wrist, it's easy to back it back up again, as you can see there at the top of the watch. It's backed up and it doesn't end up popping out and flapping about. You can get a lovely fit and feel with a NATO on this. And it's perfectly in keeping with the fact it's... A vintage style watch and here we have another colorway and the thing i really liked about this one seeing as it's blue and green it goes with the kind of the military feel from obviously apocalypse now but then you've got the, the hint of blue from there contrasting with the blue purple tinge of the ar coating and then you've got the stripe just helps soften the sort of the, the look of the band as well doesn't make it look just like a, a big block of color so i think again you've got another choice there you can just mix it up with colours. This one looked okay, I was quite impressed. And then again, it's, it's a sailcloth, it's so comfortable and it's water resistant. And if you want to swap it out for a NATO, it's really quick because these come with a quick release as well often. Again, these are the different versions of this on Watch Gecko at the moment. You get different coloured stitching as well. And I popped it on the Satina, which has a more of a vintage theme and it's really good really works brown and black they go together so you know you're not going to get your watch wet you can stick it on a nice leather strap It'll be very comfortable change the look and feel and the grand finale and this is what i've kept it on i think ultimately it's the one that suits it i was you can get waffle straps from other places i i do think watch gecko sell a waffle strap at the moment get the waffle for that full if you're going to go homage to the original Seiko you've got to get it on the waffle so comfortable as well the, the San Martin straps are really good actually I think as a comparison to the rubber that came with the steel dive the San Martin one is way better it's softer, better finished, it's more supple now to conclude the fit and finish of this watch for the money is exceptional it's a spec monster, you've got a Seiko NH35 I'm checking the timekeeping, see how good it is. The crown feel is exquisite. It's so easy to thread in, no binding. The bezel, although a little bit stiff, it's got 120 click and it lines up perfectly. Everything lines up, amazing loom. You could keep it on the standard rubber and still be very happy. It's very comfortable and supple and, and decent finishing. Shame that buckle isn't signed, that would have been quite nice. But the details underneath the watch are beautiful, really well finished. I think I found uh, an incredible bargain here for you guys. I've got another one coming in green. And if that's equally as good as this one, we know that I haven't just lucked in with this one. So thanks for watching, guys. That's my initial impressions and review. Bye for now.